Seeking your fortune doesn't have to have anything to do with money. For Susan B. Anthony, the ultimate goal was rights for women. Gents, this is a very simple game. I'm gonna give you the question, see if you can come up with the answer, and if you can, you win a prize. Does that sound good? Sounds great. All right, here is your question. What crime did Susan B. Anthony commit? Um. This is a tough one. I would have to say, because she was uh, an advocate for women's suffrage, that she was arrested for voting, maybe? Because it was arrested illegal? Arrested for voting. What do you think? I'll go voting. Voting? Sure. That's correct. How'd you know that? <laughs> Are you a historian? No. No? So that means you guys get a prize. OK. You want to know what it is? Yeah. Come with me this way. Okay. All right. Brian's actually an attorney. And Holly is a fashion journalist. What curator Lisa Kathleen Grady has to show them is right up their alley. I wanted to show you what is considered to be one of the Smithsonian's national treasures. This is Susan B. Anthony's shawl. Oh, goodness. It's a rich color, and it's, it's a nice, heavy silk. So it's that, that understated elegance mm -hmm. that I think is typical of Anthony. When we think of Susan B. Anthony, most of us think of a dollar coin. But the crusader for women's rights also knew how to make a fashion statement. And this shawl was her trademark. Today, it's impossible to imagine a time when women couldn't vote. But when Susan B. Anthony took up the cause, it was against the law. Anthony was born in 1820 into a community of abolitionist Quakers. Fighting for civil rights was in her blood. But she knew to make a real impact, women needed to have a real voice. They needed the vote. People sort of forget that it hasn't been that long. It's not 100 years yet that women have had the right to vote. And it was a hard-fought battle. In 1851, Anthony teamed up with Elizabeth Cady Stanton, a brilliant communicator. Stanton was the pen behind the cause, while Anthony stood before crowds across the country giving up to 100 speeches a year. As Holly and Brian guessed, Susan B. Anthony was arrested for voting in the 1872 presidential election. It was national news. She used the publicity to push for suffrage. Anthony met with plenty of opposition. She was burned in effigy. She had an image of her dragged through the streets. Mm -hmm. um, she knew how to motivate people positively and negatively. Antagonize as and well, I'm sure. Yes, and um, very determined lady. You have to be. It's almost like a cape. Like, she's a masked crusader. Kind of a superhero? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is, oh, I like that. It's a superhero cape. I th it, it is, in a way. If the shawl was her cape, then was this her weapon? This is a piece that I love. It's a, an ivory and rosewood gavel. And I love the, the inscription on it. Order is heaven's first law. It apparently was actually used, you can see by the cracks. It looks to be, yes. That it um, gaveled a few meetings to order and... Uh... Probably some contentious discussion. Suffragists were the first to picket the White House, staging protests against President Wilson in 1917. It was just such this, this novel thing. These women standing in front of the White House and the president actually was mildly amused by it. He offered them coffee. The hospitality didn't last for long. They were eventually arrested for obstructing traffic. Women didn't win the right to vote until 1920, 14 years after Anthony's death. But she left her cause with confidence, saying failure is impossible. As a woman who was kind of born with all of these rights, um, they almost seemed just kind of handed to me. And it's, it's really awakening and very touching to see the the milestones that have led to that. That there were people before us who didn't, didn't have them and who, and who fought. And as we see on the news every day, I mean, these gender issues, gender rights are, are still at the forefront today. They still continue. But then, you know, you remember Susan, and failure is impossible. Mm -hmm.